Hello and welcome to question number 27 of Daily Dose. So today's question is on sentence correction, level 700. The question says, Among lower paid workers, union members are less likely than non-union members to be enrolled in lower end insurance plans, imposing stricter limits on medical services and requiring doctors to see more patients and spend less time with each. Clearly, the question is testing you on parallelism. But before heading, what are the things which are needed or which are required to be parallel? Let's understand. So the meaning says that X are less likely than Y to be enrolled in lower end insurance plans. Now, these plans do two things. They impose stricter limits on medical services and they require doctors to see more patients. But be careful, this is not a thing which is done by the insurance plans. This is the result of the things which are done by the insurance plans. So they spend less time with each is not independent of this doctors to see more patient. Whereas this is just dependent upon this. Be careful, this is a cause effect relationship. The first two things are the causes of the insurance plans. And this is the effect that is achieved by the causes of the insurance plans. Furthermore, you cannot keep all these things parallel like in option B and C where it keeps imposing, requiring and spending parallel. Where also it keeps impose, require and spend parallel. This would mean that all these three actions are done by insurance plans. That means insurance plans are imposing stricter limits. They are requiring doctors to see more patient and they are spending less time with each. Is it the insurance plans that are spending less time with the patients? Of course not. That destroys the meaning. Spending less time with each is the work that is done by the doctors. And that is because of the result of this. Doctors to see more patients. So this imposing and requiring has to be kept parallel. Whereas the spending should not be parallel to this. That should be the result of the first two. So the structure is something like this. Insurance plans, they do two things impose stricter limits second require doctors to see more patients and this two together result in doctors spending less time so these both have to be kept parallel because they are independent and share the same theme and this is just result of these two actions so it has to be kept in different verb form than these two be careful. It is very important to analyze what things you should keep parallel. Only independent things are kept parallel which follows the same theme. If the second or the later one is the result of the previous, is the general description about the previous structures, then it has to be in different verb form. So the correct answer over here would be when these two are parallel and this comes with verb ing. So I have option D. That is the structure that impose stricter limits on medical services, require doctors to see more patient, very beautifully kept parallel. And the result of this, spending less time with each. Ask yourself whether X, Y, and Z are dependent or independent. They can be parallel if they are independent and follows the same theme. If the later one is the result or a generic description, it has to come with a different verb form like verb ing. Hope you have learned. Hope you understood the question well. The correct answer over here is D. This is a very beautiful concept over parallelism, which is generally asked a lot by GMAT. Be careful. Stay tuned for more such questions and more new concepts. Hope you are enjoying the series. Stay tuned. You'll get more such questions on our website, on our Facebook page. Stay tuned. Bye-bye and take care. Have a good day.